Today's paper is titled Skull Based Surgery for Malignant Tumors, the second international collaborative study, a study period between 1995 to 2015. And this paper very recently appeared in Head and Neck Journal. And the first author of the paper is none other than Dr. Jatin Shah from MSKCC. So this paper looked into the management and outcomes of malignant tumors of the skull base worldwide. And it was a global collaborative effort. Before we get into the details of this particular study, let's now recall the first international collaborative study. And that was titled Craniofacial Surgery for Malignant Skull-Based Tumors, Report of an International Collaborative Study. And this appeared in Cancer Journal in 2003. And that was by Snehal G. Patel et al. So, that was also a report of uh, outcomes of skull-based tumors of 1,307 patients ac across 17 institutions who underwent open craniofacial surgery. And uh, squamous cell carcinoma was the most common histological type. That study reported a post-operative complication rate of 33% and a mortality rate of 4% and 5-year overall survival rate of 54%, disease-specific survival rate of 60% and recurrence-free survival rate of 53%. So with this in mind, let's go back to the present study, the second such collaborative effort. This study had uh, 3,061 patients from 28 institutions across the world. The median age was 56 years and importantly, a significant proportion of patients in this cohort had endoscopic resection performed in 36%. And an additional 9.6% underwent combined approach. After a median follow-up of 7.1 uh, years, the five-year overall survival was 65%, disease-specific survival was 71%, and recurrence-free survival was 53%. The complication rates remained almost the same, about 31%, but uh, importantly, the post-operative mortality rate reduced from 4% in the previous study to 1.4%. 1.4% in, in the current study. And looking at the uh, survival outcomes, the five-year overall survival rate improved from 54% uh, in the prior study to 65% in the present study. But the recurrence-free survival remained almost the same, about 53%. The paper cites the reasons for a reduction in complications and probably improvement in the outcomes as improved patient selection, progress across uh, various uh, treatment disciplines, and one reason very interesting is the use of free flaps that has increased over the years.
the first study found out the histology of the tumor, intracranial extent and status of the margins as three independent prognostic factors for survival, while the new study, in addition to the, these three, also add, adds older age, comorbidities, histology, uh, advanced stage and primary site also as the independent prognostic factors of, I mean, prognostic factors for survival. Increased number of patients underwent adjuvant radiotherapy in the new study. So this is an important uh, contribution to the literature and uh, which is clearly showing the improvement in the outcomes across the world on how the skull-based malignant tumors are managed. Thank you.